The government, in its continued effort of meeting with citizens at the grassroots level on Saturday, July 6, hosted a series of community meetings in several villages along the east coast of Demerara. This is a special edition of InfoHub highlighting the outcomes of these meetings. It's Sunday, July 7. First up, Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu and a team comprising Director of Sport Christopher Jones, Attorney at Law James Bond and Village Representative Peter Wilson visited and interacted with residents at a town hall meeting hosted at the Mahaika Primary School, Jonestown, Mahaika. Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu told residents of Mahaika that this community engagement is part of planned outreaches to meet with all citizens of Guyana. You expect a government to deliver services to you, and you expect that service to be of a high standard. We cannot come to you for, for, forever and make excuses, uh, this excuse, that excuse. We have to come to you with solutions. Governments must touch base with people. We came into government and immediately, Harman and I, we started to do the grassroots work. We had an outreach in Georgetown. We went to Essequibo. We had an outreach. We went to Barbies. We went to Latem. We started this outreach, and I had termed it the grassroots government, the revolutionary grassroots government. Now I've given it a new name. I gave it the name of a mobile government, the government on wheels, so that you go to the people rather than the people coming to you. You have to learn to take the government to the people and bring the people to the government. This is the only way you can learn by hearing from the people with the people's ear, speaking with the people's voice, and understanding the problems in such a way that you could bring about some solution. We must encourage them into the healthy stream of being involved in sports and culture being involved in some activities, vocational training, that will help to prepare them to live a better life. The government's team comprised of CEO of GWI, Dr. Richard Van West Charles, Director of Sport, Christopher Jones, and Attorney at Law, James Bond. Reporting from Old Road, Mahaika, with videographer Kenny Ann Bacchus, Rebecca Ganesh, InfoHub. Residents of Victoria and Bachelor's Adventure are concerned about the development of their communities. During a community engagement, several residents put forward various proposals to ministers that will foster this development. Victorians and residents of nearby villages turned out in their numbers at a community meeting with government ministers and made suggestions as to how they can better their community. Among many issues raised were those related to infrastructural improvement and the agriculture sector. I know that the farmers in this village are very frustrated because they plant and they don't get time to reap. But by the time they turn up to reap, it's been reaped. So there's a need for the NDC in collaboration with the RDC and the central government to have a plan to to hire rangers, not a ranger, but rangers who can do the protection of the, um, the crops in the background. I think we should start every community, not just Victoria, Nabaclis, Willow Grove. Every community on the East Coast should be addressed for roadways, drainage, and all these kind of things. In response to this, Public Health Minister Valda Lawrence outlined the plans which are in place to address specific issues as well as those that they knew beforehand were being experienced. I hear the story about the ancestral land and um, I thought that everyone, you see why you got to come out and talk to your people and hear from your people? I thought everyone by now is aware that His Excellency has taken on this particular issue and has, one, he put a COI in place where there is a report 
right now and coming out of that he has now put in place what is called the land commission public infrastructure minister david patterson highlighted works to be undertaken in this community identify them with the top and they gotta be on top it with top one and top two and i get it done this year so y'all the onus is on you i know for sure not on my budget the ones on you identify the faster you do that i'll do them and i'll get them done if there's any extra money coming i'll do three or four prior to the meeting held at the victoria primary school some of the ministers took the time to walk about the village and interact with the residents for info hub delicia haynes get registered do not be intimidated this was the message for Melody Damishan residents by Minister of Social Cohesion, Dr. George Norton, as he addressed a meeting in that village. The need for all citizens to get registered was once again reiterated by the Social Cohesion Minister, Dr. George Norton, during a community meeting at Melody Damishana on July 6. Because the present voters list might have as much as 200,000 persons on that list that is not supposed to be there, then we must clean it. We must put it right. And then our constitution, which we are prepared and always are abiding by, gives the right to persons to vote, particularly those young ones who are now 18 years and ready to vote who might not be on the list. We don't want to deprive them. We won't want to be guilty of denying them that ability. Minister Norton was joined by the Minister of Public Security, Kamraj Ramjasan. He urged all residents to remain peaceful and civilized in their conduct as the country heads into general elections. And we are not going to go in any trap with him to start all kinds of madness in the streets of Guyana. Because internationally, that is going to make us look stupid and foolish. And it is going to bring back all manner of uh, divisions. We have been trying hard for the last four years to ensure that there is social cohesion, a very principled democratic practice of ensuring that our country, knowing its political divisions and its ethnic divisions, that we remain one and in harmony. From Melanie Damishana, Paul McCallum with videographer Derek Bridgemahan, for info hub. Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Jai Paul Sharma, on Saturday assured residents of Cane Grove that funding has been set aside for the completion of the community's access road. As the coalition government continues to engage citizens at the grassroots level, Minister of Public Telecommunications Catherine Hughes and Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure Jai Paul Sharma on Saturday afternoon visited the community of Virginia Cane Grove on the east coast of Demerara where residents were given the opportunity to voice their concerns. Among the issues being raised was the current state of the community's access road. Minister Sharma told the residents that monies were allocated for the rehabilitation of the road and works are expected to commence in a matter of weeks. This is actually the largest road project in any of the region. It costs around 103 million Guyan dollars. So we build roads in region two, in region three, four, five, and six, but none of them to this tune. This is the only community that would have a road that costs that amount. So it's a rehabilitation of your road. The minister promised the residents to return to the community and meet with the Neighborhood Democratic Council to discuss the state of the community's streets. Minister Hughes also encouraged the residents to get involved in their NDC to ensure that allocated funds are utilized in a manner which benefits the community. What I'm trying to show you is that in life we never have all the money we want. This is the reality. But we got to plan and we got to be involved. And why I'm telling you all of this is because until as citizens we start lobbying and ensuring the people we elect delivering, we have problems. Reporting from Cane Grove on the east coast of Demerara with videographer Anil Silal, Anara Khan for InfoHub. When we return, ministers and other officials address concerns of Rislas and Coven John residents. Details after the break. Are you ready to embark? on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America, where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape. From the wetlands and savannas 
to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and enriching rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet, including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So are you ready for a new, awe-inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. Thanks for staying with us, Minister of Agriculture Noel Holder, in a passionate address to residents gathered in the auditorium of the Vrieslas Primary School for a community meeting on Saturday evening, highlighted the major development projects that will come on stream and the need to have skilled persons employed in the various fields. We will need mining engineers, we need civil engineers, we will need fitters, we need masons, we need carpenters, we need plumbers, we need a whole pile of skills. And apart from what's going on out there, there's a question of the massive infrastructure development. We're going to have roadways and deep water harbors and, you know, a whole pile of development in this country that will need people. And they've got to be qualified people. This was the advice of Minister of Agriculture Noel Holder to the dozens of residents gathered in the auditorium of the Vrijslust Primary School for a community meeting on Saturday evening. Minister Holder was alongside Minister of Education Dr. Nicolette Henry and Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Basil Williams, SC. The meeting was convened following a walkabout of the surrounding communities by the three ministers, where they were given a first-hand view of what troubles residents of the community were currently facing. Minister Henry also spoke on the reintegration of mothers into schools. We are providing them with, um, in some instances, we're giving them full support to get back to school. And when I say full support, we gave them a stipend, we gave them uniform, um, in, you know, some of them even get daycare facilities if they go to Carnegie School of Whole Economics. So we've gone over and beyond the traditional support that we give to students, just as an incentive and encouragement to ensure that they get back into the school system. These and other educational undertakings, such as a complete curricular reform, remain a clear indicator of the government's commitment to ensure a holistic and inclusive approach to educating our people. Reporting for InfoHub, Nikosi Bruce. Drainage, roadworks and upgrading of the playground are just some of the issues raised by residents of Coven John as they interacted with a team of ministers who conducted a walkabout and community meeting in the village. Residents of Coven John had their issues and concerns addressed as Minister of Indigenous Peoples of Fraser Nialiha and Minister within the Ministry Valerie Grillo and Minister of State Don Hastings Williams conducted an outreach in the community. Among the issues raised were drainage, roads, water and the upgrading of the community playground. Minister Hastings Williams explained that some of these small infrastructure projects can be addressed under the government's rapid impact project. This initiative was created to address urgent community needs. It should have never been the focus of the central government to come in to look after playgrounds for communities. That is the mandate of the NDCs and the CDCs to be looking after these. But we, we have failed in that area. And as a government, we, we have started what we call a rapid impact projects, or what we call RIP. Rapid impact projects, meaning these are some low-hanging fruits. If we go wrong and we see a playground needs little maintenance, little fencing repairs, it mustn't be, you know, sometimes it's not just over a million dollars. It might be less. And it's something that can be done. It, it's something that can be done very quickly and then have our young people go to play their cricket, their volleyball, their basketball, whatever it is. As it relates to the drainage and irrigation issues, Minister Alika contacted Minister of Agriculture Noel Holder, who committed to sending an engineer to assess the situation. When these technical people come, ensure that you're there to tell them exactly what, what is happening so they, they don't have to go doing surveys. They could, yeah. Sometimes they know exactly what's happening and what to do. Yeah. So be part of the decision-making and the planning and the execution and the maintenance. 
Covenjohn is a small community on the East Bank de Marara, established in the 1960s. It has a population of over 500 residents. Sonika Thorne, InfoHub. This was a special edition of InfoHub. Thanks for joining us. Connect with us on WhatsApp, Facebook, and YouTube. Much more news is on our website, dpi.gov.gy, and pop over to Instagram for the latest photo updates at DPI Guyana. Goodbye for now.